Hi folks, welcome back SnowRunner. I realize I'm probably coming a little late to the party on a MTVR review, but I downloaded this mod um, the day it came out, and then I've just been busy with other stuff. Um, but real quickly here, <clears throat> run through customization there isn't going to be anything to change in here except um, this and a couple add-ons um, regular mud tires or studded tires um, so you can buy the off-road mode transmission um, ooh, this one does have a couple in um, independent suspensions or an active suspension that uh, the other trucks didn't have. Aftermarket independent, AL5 independent, or an active. Let's leave it on the aftermarket independent for now and just to see what happens, just so it doesn't limit tire size or something. Um, 57 inch good day studded or 55 inch studded 57 inch good day without the studs see the tread pattern is a little different than the 55 inch tires Let's put the oh, excuse me. Those look a little different again. Those fifty fives. Let's put the fifty sevens on it. And then go back to the suspension. Now what happens? Can we still keep the big tires? and do the other suspensions it looks like we can in that case I'll stick the active on it let's see what it says scale a rocky slope outmaneuver the enemy haul equipment with capacity to spare nothing should stand in the way of the mission an active suspension kit allows for manual control over road clearance for optimal performance on all kinds of terrain. Hmm. You know, we've checked out the active suspension in previous mods. I think I'm going to leave this one on it. That one or that one? What's this one got to say? the same thing then in that case we'll go for ground clearance I guess winch uh, we'll put the offline winch on it this does have more diversity than other trucks of other MTVRs have had and until you get to frame add-ons well you got the MTVR flatbed you got a maintainer 1300 repair parts and two spare wheels or you got a fuel tank 1050 liters of fuel or if you don't choose anything it reverts back to the default sideboard which I think I'm gonna leave on it for now rooftop it's got some LED lights out to the side it's got an LED bar got a roof rack one and a roof rack two which includes 
all three of the above. Well, why not? That's new too. Tow bar. Custom bumper two. Stock bumper. Custom bumper one. Hmm. Kind of like the looks of the stock bumper. But this bumper has LED lights in it. Miscellaneous. Antenna. Antenna long. Well, that's a big fat antenna. Long skinny antenna. A rotating beacon. Or a flashing beacon. Do the long antenna. Do the standard exhaust. Only one choice for rims. Wow! More color? More color choices than were available before. That's what they ordinarily look like. This one comes default with that. Whoa! That's kind of wild. And that's kind of a snow pattern. Hmm, not sure I would leave that one on there for the long term. But for the purpose of this video, let's apply that one. And anything inside? I can put my hula girl on the dash or the dachshund. I don't have access to those yet. Haven't done the trials. I'll put the spades up there. No stickers. But this already has a ton more shit than the other MTVRs. Alright, um, with the weight on top, uh, I was thinking with the extra weight on top, maybe I'll go with the mid-range suspension lift, but let's see what it does with the, t the highest one. I mean, this is a test session, right? We got, um some swamp out here by the farm we can run it through. Um, we got some swamp on this side of the farm. We got some real good deep mud out there. Um, as far as hill climbing we could come back here. Need the controller. All wheel drive is always on. Diff lock available only on low gear. Okay. Well, let's see what it looks like. Nice looking truck.
We could make it nighttime and check out the lights. Not overpowering, just enough. I like how it lights up to the side, so as you're going down the trail, as your headlights go past, you can still see the trail next to you. I'll only leave it nighttime for now. Trailer store. We could put one unit of cargo in it. But I, I personally would like to see how it performs without cargo and then maybe put cargo in it. I think that road. Kind of a back way into the farm, yeah. I've seen brighter lights, but um, they tend to get so bright that they wash everything out. You can't see what's right in front of you because it's just washed out in bright light. Here's a little mud. You gotta remember this is Black River mud. Okay. Steering's kind of all over the place, but you know. You have to adjust your steering sensitivity for about every dang mod you jump into. Because they're all over the place. I've looked at the XML files. They're all over the place. The way one guy does it from the next. Everybody has his own idea about steering sensitivity. Steering angle, camber angle. Steering speed, responsiveness, got a little angle on it there, and kind of got light, but didn't go over. I think we can get out in that big muddy field this way. Well, we probably could have just kept going around the road, too, but... You know what? Let's see how it does a little hill climbing. But let's uh, make it so I can see what I'm doing. Granted, not much of a hill, but... You know what, down over here, looks like there's a low, ro flat rock we could try to climb. It should be able to do this. Okay, well let's try it. Let's try that again with uh, diff lock on low range, straight up low range. Oh yeah, big difference. We might even get up on the taller side.
Well, I don't think we're getting up there. But it did good on the first part. That's just too big of a... Too big of a rise. But I see a different way to do this. Let's put it back in low diff lock. Let's try to go right like this. No problem whatsoever. So as long as you're not biting off more than you can chew, so to speak, Let's try some angle on the dangle. Getting a little light, but not bad for what I'm doing. Go try out some mud. Still that drifting back and forth. Uh, like I say, I'm sure that's just a, a steering sensitivity issue. I'm not going to jack up my steering sensitivity I have it I have it set right for the primary for my primary save king for the vehicle I'm using in my primary save game so far so good I was just Trying to decide if I want to go to the swamp over there or the mud over here. I think the mud over here. This is uh, notorious for getting anything stuck that's not pretty capable. This is no diff lock. Just so everybody understands, this is just automatic, no diff lock. And I can cruise anywhere I want out here. Now maybe we'll go across the street. Maybe this isn't a hard enough test. Oh, there's one of those pumps you, you, that you uh, have a job for when you're doing this map. I wanted to come up here because I thought this might be pretty muddy, but it's actually not bad. I know there's a place across the street where I hauled a truck out of. And when I initially went out there to get it, I got stuck. And I had to go back with a better truck.
not deep enough here. I think it gets deeper out there by that island. I think it was out here where the truck was stuck and it stayed pretty shallow until you got right up there by it and then it got real deep. That's the spot I'm looking for, but maybe it's just these tall ass tires just don't allow it to be that deep or just doesn't let it look that deep. Well, obviously pretty capable. I say maybe Michigan's not a tough enough test for it. I know the farmyard here is pretty muddy. But what counts as pretty muddy to this thing? I've had other vehicles I've had other vanilla vehicles get stuck right here. Back up a little so I can try and drive through the worst of the mud. And with a load on it. See what we can do with pulling a dolly with two more units on it. That slows it down a little bit. Heavy four axle dolly. And remember, it doesn't have diff lock, and it's still an automatic with no diff lock. Mm. 
whoa there! Now that puts some load on it. I think you know where we're going. If I can <laughs> get this thing... <laughs> uh, first it's left and then it's right and... We're gonna take it back through the mud. The mud that it handled with ease. deeper water getting up to dangerous getting deep enough to be dangerous water level and it's still walking through with no diff lock that's struggling a little that's struggling a little well, alright I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and we'll go low high with diff lock and away she goes. Pulling what should be a pretty heavy load for it. since it's made primarily as a scout vehicle or in my opinion that seems to be what it's good for scout scouting and perhaps some recovery running crossways over the berms now we're on the hay bale Whoa, almost lost the trailer. Wouldn't be any bother if we did. Hey, the truck was staying upright where the trailer was on the verge of tipping over. Go out the side over here. Whoops, guardrail. I wouldn't expect it to take the guardrail, but looks like it will. Will it pull the trailer over the guardrail? Dang straight. All right. Get out of low range, out of back into automatic. And I think the conclusion is a damn fine little truck. Take a screenshot and say thank you for watching. <laughs>